Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Doc Tucker back at you with a word. Wow, it's Monday morning, boy. This weekend went so fast, boy. I tell you, it's, it's woo, it was just unbelievable. Mm. And right now, I don't have the copyright for this music that you're hearing in the background. The shofar, I don't have the, the copyright for it. I don't have the claims on it, so I need to get that out there now. I need you to get your Bibles, and I need you to go with me into the book of Psalms 145. Yes, I said Psalms 145. Mm -mm -hmm. And prepare to receive this word. Yes, I need you to prepare to receive this word. God is good. God is so good. Psalms 145. I'm going to start reading in verses 17 through 19. And it reads, The Lord is righteous in all his ways. Gracious in all his works. Mm. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. To all who call upon him in truth. Mm. He will fulfill the desires of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. Mm. Yes. God is so good. God is so good. This morning, I want to do something a little different. Clear your mind and your heart. Bow your heads. Father God, we come back before you this morning, Father God. Mm. This Monday morning, Father God. Father God, I repent for my sins for word, thought, or deed, Father God. I thank you for all that you're going to do for us today, for me and, and everyone that's watching this video today, Father God. I bring the person that's watching this video before you, Father God, and I apply the blood of Jesus over them and sending them in the blood of Jesus and I apply the arm of God over them and their families, Father God. This Monday morning, Father God, I ask you to continue to be a fence around them and fight for them, Father God, and their families, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to bless their benefits and their provisions, Father God, as they get ready to go to work in the morning, Father God, or if they're working from home, Father God, or whatever they're doing, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to, to bless their finances, Father God, and their fits right in their cabinets, Father God. I thank you, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, Father God. Because the word says that they was healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ, Father God. And I'm sealing them in the blood of Jesus right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for being a fence around us, Father God, and fighting for us today, Father God. Because the word tells us even in the midst of the storm, Father God, that you are there, Father God. You are there. You said that you would never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. And you said nothing will never be able to snatch us out of your hands, Father God. So, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to bless the person that's watching this video right now, Father God. As they stick their, as they place their hands in Jesus' hands, Father God, I ask you to fight for them, Father God. Father God, I ask you, Father God, because the word says that when two or three are gathered in your name and you're in the midst, Father God, I, I thank you, Father God, for, for bowing down, Father God, and listening to this prayer, Father God. You know what the person needs, Father God, that's watching this video, Father God. So I'm asking you to bless them, Father God, that they show yourself great and mighty, Father God. We already know you're great and mighty, Father God, but I'm just asking you, Father God, for a touch, Father God, for a move, Father God, for a shifting in the atmosphere, Father God, this morning, Father God, on their behalf and even on my behalf, Father God. I speak life over the person that's watching this video, Father God, and listening to this prayer, Father God. And everything that they're believing you for today, Father God, and they're lining up with your word, Father God, I stand in agreement with them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for your protection, Father God, because in a pandemic and in a famine, Father God, that, Father God, that you never left Israel, Father God, you never did them wrong, Father God. This morning, Father God, I pray for your grace and mercy in our lives, Father God. I pray for your grace and mercy, Father God. And there's so much going on, Father God, in that person's life that's watching this video, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to bless them with that peace and rest, Father God. Not their peace and rest, Father God, that they can move and do what they want. I'm talking about you place them in your peace and rest, Father God. Your comfort, Father God. I ask you to loosen their angels around them, Father God, for their protection, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Because there's so much going on, Father God. But the word tells us that there is no rest for the wicked, Father God. So I ask you, Father God, that as a person, you said, if we forgive men their trespasses, that you would forgive our trespasses. So this morning, Father God, we forgive, Father God. Lord, I ask you, Lord, this morning, Lord, as you pray for the disciples, Lord, to go and pray for us, Lord. 
go for the Lord, whatever that's needed in our life, if resurrection is needed in our lives, Lord, take it to the Father. If restoration is needed, Lord, take it to the Father. Lord, you know what we need before we even ask. So, Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, to go to the Father and pray to the Father as you pray for your disciples, because we are the, the sheep in your pastor. We belong to you, Lord. So, Lord, I thank you this morning, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for everything, for the person that's watching this video and everything that, they, and everything that they're believing you for this week. Everything that's believing you for this week, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everything I'm believing you for this week, I thank you, Lord. And everything, Lord, and, I, and, and right now, Father God, as I continue to walk and pray, as I continue to pray, Father God, not walk and pray, but sit and pray, Father God. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over their situations and their circumstances and needs and errors in their lives, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to, to just bless them, Father God. Hold them in your arms, Father God. If somebody's going out, going through something right now, Father God, that's very trying in their life, Father God, I'm asking you to go and hold them in their arms, Father God, and whisper in their ear, Father God, and love on them, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, be, 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 because you love us, Father God, and you love us and we belong to you, Father God. And the word said nothing or never be able to shake us or shake us out of your hands, Father God. So we thank you for the love and the mercy that you're going to give us. We thank you for the cuddling that you're going to give us. We thank you for placing our feet on solid ground today, Father God. We thank you for everything that's going on today, Father God. Even for the good and the bad, because the word talks about trials and tribulations, Father God. But you said that you'll never leave us nor forsake you, Father God. That would you say you'll never leave us, and that's what we believe, Father God. But I thank you, Father God, for everything that you're going to do right now, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for the person that's watching this video, Father God. And I'm asking you, Father God, to bless them, Father God, and pray for them, Father God. Lord, pray for them, Lord, as they pray for me, Lord. Lord, as you pray for them for, Lord, as you pray for me, Lord, pray for them as they pray for me, Lord. I'm asking for a special blessing in their lives. Hmm. Lord, I thank you. Father God, I thank you. And I just continue to ask you, Lord, to Father God, Lord God, to just bless the person that's on the other side of this video, that's watching this prayer, that's right now, just that you're speaking into their life right now. And you're doing great and mighty, and then you're moving things around, and you and you're planning their day. You're you, you're blessing them with healing and deliverance. And I mean, for every situation, every circumstance, every need, and every area in their life that you're healing their lives, mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, and financially. We thank you this morning, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for all answered prayers. We thank you, Father God, because we can't live in this world without you, Father God. So we thanking you for everything that you're going to do for us this morning and today, Father God. We thank you for showing up in our lives because everybody didn't wake up this morning, Father God. But we thank you for waking us up this morning, Father God. And in that alone, Father God, we just continue just to give you all the praise, honor, and the glory. And we thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing. Continue to watch over our children, Father God. And bless them as they go to school and be a fence around them and fight for them. For this COVID-19, Delta variant, and Omicron, and all of this stuff that's going on, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to watch over our children as they go before they go to school and protect them and shield them from all hurt or harm or danger, seen and unseen, and even, and even slander, Father God. Because now kids now are so mean, they bully. Even from slander, Father God, I thank you, Father God. You are a God that's full of grace and mercy. And I thank you for your grace and mercy over our life this morning. And everything that you're going to do for us in our life. And even and even all answered prayers, we thank you, Father God. Just continue to give you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. This is a Monday morning. You should be you, you, you should be praising God from the rooftops. You should be hollering his name from the rooftops. God is better than us. God is good to us. God is better to us. God is God is better to us than we even been to ourselves. Yes. I used to hear it all the time. People say God better than me, and I've been to myself. I know what that means now. 
I know what that means now. Man, God is so good. I'm looking at a, I'm looking at a, a, I'm looking at a, a word right now in uh, Psalm 145 and 9. It said that the Lord is good to all. And, excuse me, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Man, over all his works, even in your life, even in my life. What it says again, the Lord is good to all. Yes, he is. You didn't have to wake up this morning, but he woke you up this morning. You know, you you don't tomorrow. And, and and when you go about your day, just I want you to put your mind on people that's out there that don't have anything. Folks in the hospitals, the sick, and folks, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, the lame, the afflicted, and the shut in, the sick and shut in. Man, this is the blessing. I'm content where God got me until He moved me. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I you know because I always said that I can be a multi-millionaire. I can be a multi-millionaire, but if I ain't got Jesus, I ain't got nothing. And if a person's watching this video and they're a multi-millionaire and all this, if you, if, if you ain't got Jesus in your life, you ain't doing nothing because all this stuff going to fade away. Every You look handsome, you're, you're fine, you're looking good, girl, and man, you're handsome, all this stuff going to fade away. It's going to fade away. I've, I've met so many people, so many unattractive people, and turn out to be so some, some beautiful people with on the inside. Yeah. And I'm not calling anybody ugly. I'm just saying that I've I've met so many beautiful people and their attitudes stink. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's particularly on somebody. I'm just saying my experiences. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing about it is, and I met people that wasn't so attractive and they were just beautiful people. <laughs> and that's just it. God is good to us. Call somebody today and tell them you love them. No, no apparent reason. Text them and tell them that you love them. No, hey, I love you, cuz. You know, if your family got a page, I love you, cuz. I love your family. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Do what you got to do. Pray for you and your family. You know, because I tell you, I pray for the Tucker family. You, you better believe I pray for my family. I love my family. It don't matter how they feel about me. I'm, I'm going to do my part. I love my folks. I love my folks. And I want you to, and if you, if you can tell your folks you love them, you know, then they'll send a text out, you know, let folks know how you feel because here today, gone to mind, nothing promised but Jesus. Ain't nothing promised but Jesus. Nothing. And if you're getting, and if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you're tired of living in the world and you're tired of living for the devil, all you got to do is say, Lord, Father God, I'm tired. I'm tired, Father God. All you got to do is say, Father God, that I don't want to live for the world and the devil anymore. I want to live for Jesus. Mm. And all you had to do is repent for your sins. You go before me, you repent for your sins. You know what you've done. Ask the Holy Spirit to bring everything back to you where you can clean it all out and ask, ask, to, ask him to, to repent for your sin. You know what I'm saying? Re re repent for your sin. Confess that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and God raised him up in three days. Ask him to say you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life while you still have time, while he is near. Time is winding down. You got to react. You got to do something now. There's no guarantee that you'll wake up in the morning. There's no guarantee when you leave him from home, seeing your family that you'll come back. Ain't no guarantee. All you got to do is surrender. It's all you got to do is say, Lord, I surrender. Come into my life. And when you're praying about it and talking to the Lord about it, ask the Lord to, to send you to a church to where they to where they got a full tub and they baptize you. Because I want you to get dipped in that water. When he dip you in that water, you're gonna hear in your spirit. You're gonna hear him say, Won't well, he say, Hey, I never leave you nor forsake you. Boy, that's, that's gonna blow your mind. That's gonna blow your mind now. And he'll think on you're gonna hear I never and nothing or never baby snatch you out of, out of my hands. You don't know nobody walking around here in this world that, that'll make the promise to you that God has made to you. And when you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life, when you confess him as Lord, Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life, I'm not saying that you won't go through nothing, but you, but he would always be a fence around you. And he would, and he, and he said, who's ever called upon the name of the Lord? However it may be, you can always go to him. You can always go to him and pray. You, I'm you, you can always go to him and say, Lord, I'm going through this right here. I'm going to go for the Lord. I repent for my sins. I, I've done, you know, da, 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 and you get that. 
and you just go to talking to them. And you wait for them to respond. Well, the Lord don't work like that. Man, God does what he want to do. He's the God of heaven and earth. He do what he want to do. He ain't going to talk to you the way he talked to everybody else. I know people that he don't talk to them the way he talked to me. <coughs> I want you to call upon him while you still have time. While he's still near. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. If this video has blessed you, hit like. If you like this video, hit like over there and hit subscribe and hit the notification. That means that any time that I'm on here, then, then uh, you'll get a notification that I'm on here. And, I, and I'm always going to be on here. And I'm always going to give you the word. I don't give God don't give it to me. I don't give it to you. Yeah. And if God places it upon your heart mm, to give a love offering, then do so. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Yes, I said it. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm. God loves you, so do I. Yeah, I said I love you. I love you. God loves you, so do I. God bless you and your family. In the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Share him with a friend. Amen. Amen. And amen.